So it takes time. I agree with you. It takes uh, a, a lot of time to learn the language. Mm. You can make it shorter by practicing always. But how, but it takes how, do, how do you practice to make it shorter? Do you have any idea? So, yes. So, so I, I think just your environment is very important. So if you want to learn French and just you, sur you surround yourself with English speaking people, your progress is likely to be slow, slower than if you surround yourself with francophone people. CAB English Talk, a talk show in English on a variety of problem solving ideas that are creative, educational, altruistic, and vital. Episode 5. Enjoy! Hi! Hello! Thelma! Yes, hi! Oh, good to see you! Good to see you too! So, welcome to the Sea of English Talk! <laughs> Thank you, Eileen. Eli uh, I Eliana. El Eliana, okay. okay. Thank you very much, Eliana. You're welcome. Elian, that's a French name. Uh, most of the, the younger phones, they, they, they struggle to pronounce it because that's a typical French name, Elian. Yeah. So most of the time I hear yeah. El Elan. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, welcome. And um, so you, you already know me, but we want to know you who are you can you please introduce yourself okay so my name is Thelma Asei Chotobo um I am Ghanaian and I purposely came to Ivory Coast to study French mm -hmm. and I've been in Abidjan since October 2021 okay. mm -hmm. I'm interning with an Ivorian company at the moment mm -hmm. yeah okay good so, uh, tell us about your experience being in Afri in in Cote d'Ivoire, sorry, a francophone country, and you being a, a Ghanaian trying to to learn to speak French. So, how how has it been so far? Um, <laughs> if I have to if I have to give my honest opinion, um. It hasn't been too too encouraging like um i expected it to be because um i think uh, lots of people make mockery of the ac my accents <laughs> i don't know how funny i sound when i speak french but i think that's one of the challenges i deal with like the accents as soon as i start speaking french they start laughing yeah and um Apart from the accent, I think it's mainly, for me, it's mainly the accent problem. People just make fun of you when you start speaking and when you make mistakes. Um, sometimes when you're lucky, I think on campus, I was on um, Ofoy Boini for some time. Um, I think the campus people were more friendlier. So some of them try to correct you by repeating um, the correct phrase without telling you that, oh, on the pasa. They just repeat the correct thing. So when you are paying attention, you'd know that you didn't say it correctly. Mm. Um, but outside campus, a lot of people just laugh at you without correcting you, which I think is mean. But yeah, yeah. that's what, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. No worries. Okay. I see. Oh, so we, we know, we know Ivorian can be mean sometimes. Yes, I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> wow. Um, well, so people making fun of you. So it's like it's limiting you. It's holding you back because you, yeah. you, 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 are, you are not afraid, but you are ashamed because as soon yeah. as you open your mouth, you try to speak your little French. You try your best and people are not encouraging you. So this is a toxic environment to... Exactly. You can't thrive in yeah. under those circumstances. So that's true. How are you coping? Um, so this is how I've been coping. Before I say something, I have to say it in my mind several several severally to make sure that I'm going to get the correct thing out. Mm. Or sometimes I just don't speak at all. But I might 
I must be very honest, it's not everyone that makes fun of me. It's just the majority of people make fun of me. Some people, like I said on campus, some people would nicely, correctly correct you by repeating um, um, the phrase that you were you were saying correctly. Yeah, um, other people who just laugh at you without correcting you. So you just get to know later on when someone corrects you that, oh, all this while what I was saying was wrong. Then you just say that, oh, this is why probably this person was laughing at me. Mm. Yeah, so it gets better. Mm. So, be so, so you've been studying French at university, right? Yes, so I, like I said, I came to Abidjan mm. solely to study French and I did a course at Ofoeboini, University mm. of Ofoeboini for nine months. Mm. After nine months, I didn't want to go back to my country because it's an, it's an English speaking country. Like I felt if I had rushed to go back, I'd probably have forgotten my French. Mm. So I decided to stay a bit more longer. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do, uh, do you have any Ivorian friend that is very close mm. to you? Yeah, I have a number of Ivorian friends, like uh, a number of them. I have a, a, a Ivorian friends, yeah. Do you, do you speak, do you speak but, um, French I, or English together? Um, we speak both. We, fortunate, unfortunately for me, or fortunately, no, I think it's unfortunate. Unfortunately for me, my Ivorian friends, um, the closest one speaks English. So I end up speaking more English than French, which is not good for me. But good for the person. Just like <laughs> Barry said in the previous video. Yes. Exactly. It's a bit selfish from us. I have to admit that. So this, I've been doing that. I have. I, I confess. I know. Uh, and I'm oh. very sorry. So you guys, Anglophones, trying to speak French. I know I've been doing that for years. And now it's time for me to change. Okay. So for those who like yeah. to practice French with me, I'm here. I can help you out. Okay. We, we can we just have to arrange it so it's okay yeah so uh, now what's your goal why do you want to speak french in the um so, okay so um i happen to start working um with an international organization so i realized at an at an early stage of my career that if i wanted to continue to work with an international organization or land higher well-paid jobs it would be better if i if i if i learn another language and i couldn't think of any other language apart from french because ghana is surrounded with a lot of francophone countries and most of the un jobs i used to see where french and english is an additional um, advantage so i decided to back on my french journey yeah so you are planning to stay in Cote d'Ivoire? As long as longer as possible for you to improve your French to be able to speak French very exactly. fluently. Exactly, I think Cote d'Ivoire it's a good country to do that because, unlike my country, um, people don't speak. You don't find everyone who speaks English. Whether um, if you find someone who speaks English, it means the person um, went to school mm. or the person is educated. But in Cote d'Ivoire, it's not like that. Everyone speaks English. Whether you whether you, you mean were, French? Oh, sorry, every, yes, that's true. Sorry, everyone speaks French, mm. whether you went to school or not. Yeah, so I think it's a good environment to learn the French language. Yeah, but the the Ivorian French is something else. I uh, I have to tell you, I don't know if you've noticed that we 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 are well known for that. We have kind of we have that kind of broken French, you know. Mm -hmm. no, the, the French. Not that nushi, but something something close to nushi. The oh, okay. French that we speak on a daily basis because nushi is something that's really extreme, like you know, mm -hmm. hard slang French. Mm -hmm. No, but what you usually hear Ivorians speak on a daily basis when you go to businesses, you go to you know, uh, you go to offices, you go to the market. That's the typical Iranian French, which is very different than the official French from oh, uh, from France. Oh, okay. Like, unfortunately, because I don't really um, know French, or I can't really speak French very well, I, I I'm not able to differentiate which one is the right, the eloquent French, and which one is not the eloquent French. Exactly. So you need someone to guide you. 
if you take countries like yeah, Senegal, exactly. Senegal, Benin, the French are far more mm -hmm. rare than Ivorian. I'm telling you. <laughs> you oh. know, I've been in Benin. Uh, I've lived there for three years. The fr French is rare. Mm -hmm. Iran French. Oh. Uh, unless or those was like journalists, you know, TV um, personalities. Okay, celebrities. Mm -hmm. But for the, mm -hmm. let's say the common Ivorian guys, Ivorian folks, they don't speak the proper French. This is mm -hmm. a big deal. It's a big issue. So for oh, those okay. who like to speak good French, and we don't know how to differentiate if this French is good or not, they happen to speak French the way Ivorians speak, which is not mm -hmm. the best one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what what, what uh, I'm telling people is to like um, is to find someone who can speak good French, you know, can speak good French, mm -hmm. living in Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. and uh, let's be honest, to watch and listen a lot to French people speaking, uh, people from yeah. France. Yeah. Yes, to do that a lot. That's the same for me. Like when I was studying, when I was learning english okay learning to speak english fluently i will listen mm -hmm. a lot sorry but not to not to Ghanaians, okay or kenyans mm -hmm. or oh, nigerian that... i've been listening to americans yeah. british yeah. australian for years yeah. i've been doing yeah. that for years because yeah. i say okay this is the original yes, way of yes. speaking the language so let me yeah. look up to that way of speaking and then mm -hmm. eventually i can understand the other yeah, that's true. I... So you have to do the same for, for French. Mm -hmm. Don't look at Ivorians as a model. Sorry, my Ivorian folks, I love you, but I have to admit, we don't speak good French. <laughs> no problem. And, this, and this, is, this is a concern, even mm -hmm. in our educational system. It's a big concern. Mm -hmm. for, when you go to Senegal, you go to Benin, you go to, even to Burkina Faso, yes, but those countries, they speak good French. Yes, uh, the, 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 the French is like, wow. But in Côte d'Ivoire, it's like um, what we say in French, Les, uh, laissez aller. We're not really, we are not really serious in our way of speaking. <laughs> yes, that's it. it. So, uh, um, so, so um, now you are living in Cote d'Ivoire, you are struggling to speak French because people making fun of you. I'm so sorry for that. Mm. So I know mm. it's, 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 not, it's, not, um, it's not easy at all. I can, I can imagine. So what's, what's the next step then? After this um, conversation, what are you going to do? Are you going to continue the same way or are you going to try to oh, adjust? Oh, yeah. I mean, the people who make fun of me are... Uh, not as much as the people who are um, friendly. So you just block the distractions and keep your focus, like you said. And like you said earlier, so I do the same thing too. I watch a lot of YouTube documentaries. Um, I watch a lot of um, France movies. Mm -hmm. And I, I do a lot of movies, so it helps me a lot. It's fun, and also at the same time, I can learn in the process of having fun. So I do that a lot, and I feel more comfortable um, writing in French than speaking, unfortunately, because I had started my journey and uh, my friend journey in Ghana, and the school I went to focused more on teaching us how to write read and write than speaking. It's the That's same here I, for us learning English. It's the same here. Exactly the same. We learn how yeah. to read and write in English. Exactly. The spoken yeah. English, you know, yeah. is almost inexistent. <laughs> yeah. But I'm very grateful to, um, I'm very grateful I came to Abidjan because um, I couldn't speak French, seriously. Mm -hmm. Until I came to Abidjan, I couldn't speak French spontaneously. Mm -hmm. I may make some grammatical errors um, when I try to speak spontaneously, but I must credit the fact that I'm able to speak. Like, when you ask me a question, I can just respond. Mm -hmm. 
uh, without having to think of the words like I was doing in Ghana. I just respond spontaneously. Good. Yeah, so Abidjan has helped me do that, mm. and I'm grateful. Mm. Yeah. yeah, at least thank you, Abidjan, for yes, it's not helped. A, it, you know, it's not. Yeah. Uh, it's not a one hundred percent bad bad news. At yes. least there are good things to point out. Yes. Thank you. We are yeah. grateful to you guys, Ivorians, for helping our dear friend Selma. <laughs> <laughs> so now you need to. So all you need is to improve, to read a lot, yes. a lot of input, reading a lot, and listening a lot. Yes. So you I... you, you you see what I I put in the in the in the group what I wrote. No, the 10, yeah, I... the ten thousand hours of listening yeah. and reading. So mm -hmm. when we if we, we we have to count like how much time mm -hmm. have you spent so far? Have you reached the ten thousand hours? Or... Maybe I've maybe I've passed because I started the journey in twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. And for me, I believe, so one thing I tell people is, so I hear a lot of my Ghanaian friends say, oh, I really want to learn French, but I realize that they just say it without putting in the work. Mm. You have to put in the work. Yeah. Even if you learn a French word every day, I think it's progress. They're not learning anything at all. Mm. And when you put in the work, you have to also be consistent. So you don't start in 2020 and you give up and pick it up again. It's like you've taken a step forward and you're taking two steps backwards. So be consistent. In the beginning, it's very hard. Your first three months is going to be like, oh, I'm tired. I'm mentally exhausted. But once you cross it, with time, it improves. Your understanding improves. Um, the time you take to understand words mm -hmm. improves with, with time as you practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just practice, practice, mm -hmm. practice. But you you you've reached a stage where you you understand you can speak yeah. spontaneously, but you need to improve, right? Exactly. So yeah. in order to improve, it's reading. Reading a lot of a lot of literature, reading yeah. a lot, listening a lot. And it's it will take a long time as yeah. As, you, I know, you have to admit that it will take you a long time. I really agree. I hear a lot of Ivorians say, oh, I want to go to Ghana to learn English. And I think that in six months or three months, I'll be able to speak English. I just look at them and I say, you guys don't really know what you're saying. Like, <laughs> I hear them say it a lot. And I told them that if you get the opportunity to go to an English country, don't rush to come back. Immerse yourself a bit longer than just three months and six months it's unrealistic mm. i was born in ghana but i'm still learning english as we speak now mm. it's an everyday yeah. process yeah so it takes time i agree with you it takes uh, a, a lot of time to learn the language mm. you can make it shorter by practicing always but but how, it takes do, how, do, how do you practice to make it shorter do you have any idea <laughs> Yes, so so I, I think just your environment is very important. So if you want to learn French and just you, sur you surround yourself with English speaking people, your progress is likely to be slow, slower than if you surround yourself with Francophone people. Mm. I think the environment is very important. Mm. Yeah. Um, now, what do you do? What do you do exactly in this environment to make your progress, you know, be very significant? Okay, so um, I talk to different people. So every day I step out, I learn a new word and I pick, I try. So for someone like me, I wouldn't frequently p pick an Uber. No, I'll do a bus because in the bus you hear a lot of people speak. I eavesdrop on people's conversation a lot. You may not be talking to me, but you'll be talking in French and I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at you because I'm interested in what you are, the content of what you are saying, but it's the French, how you say, oh, I want this, je veux ça. Mm -hmm. I each drop, I play, I play their words in my, in my head, what I've heard. Okay, if you want to say this, you say this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes after a week, those words come back to me. Good. So those are the words I make. <laughs> yes. 
And now so you I need to what, what you told me, I think, before you said you, you mentioned um your accent. Like yeah. how to speak the because you speak you speak French with English accent and you are struggling with that. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, people, people make fun of it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so this, so th there's a way to to work it out. So one one thing is to to do what I I like to do it on my YouTube channel. I I I I I post the video of, of me doing shadowing in English. I do oh, okay. every week. I love that. I do shadowing. I pick some video excerpts and I do shadowing mm -hmm. with it. Even after 20 years, I, I, I do it. I mean, I love it. So you do shadowing uh, because shadowing helps you with um, uh, the rhythm, the way, the pace, you know, the way you, you say things. Bonjour, bonjour, je m'appelle Eliane. Bonjour, okay. je m'appelle Eliane. And you, you, you mimic, you imitate. So it all uh, comes down to imitation yeah so you have to to put you in the sh yourself in the shoes of a francophone what yeah. i did to put myself in the shoes of an anglophone i mean mm -hmm. i have to switch i won't say switch identity but to kind of have mm -hmm. a, another identity to espouse yeah. another identity so i have espoused an anglophone identity beside my <laughs> francophone identity so when i speak english i am an anglophone I feel anglophone. Yeah. When I speak yeah. French, I feel francophone. Thank yeah, I, I I must agree. If you probably didn't tell me um you were an Ivorian, I wouldn't know because you don't have the French English accent. Oh really? <laughs> yes, yes. I think your 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 accent is clear. I wouldn't have been able to detect that you were a francophone. Yeah. So I wish I should have not hidden the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like you said it takes time you just have to mimic people I've been and it's doing that time. for years 20 yeah. years yeah. yes you just have to mm. and you have to be patient and you have to know yeah. your goal to be patience to be patient people are people are eager they want things overnight yes i want yeah to, i want to be six months i want to be you can mm. be fluent in it's, it's, six months even though you live in the country, yeah, you may start be like, you know, and it depends yeah. on what you do in the country. Reason why I say, yeah. what do you do exactly to improve your fluency in French? So mm -hmm. I, I have, I have something that I teach to people like coach in English. I say, do at least three things, learn to do three things. I call this in French. I say, rêve. Mm -hmm. R, R, R stands for raconter des histoires. Oh, okay. raconter des histoires. Mm -hmm. tell, tell stories. Start, stories yeah. start by telling stories. But for you to tell stories, start by listening to stories. Yeah. Be a, yeah. Story, a storyteller. Because it all yeah. starts with stories. We love stories from kids to adults. Stories yeah. first. And after stories, you have to be good at teaching. Mm -hmm. Teach something. Mm -hmm. Teach a skill. But for you to teach a skill, you have to learn a skill in the language. Yeah. So yeah. which skill, That's... for example, which skill are you learning in French? Yeah. Which skill are you learning to do in French? French is a language, English is a language, but what are you learning to do in the French language? Mm -hmm. Are you learning marketing? Or is, yeah. it, is it carpentry? Or is it is it sewing? Whatever. Pick mm. a skill. Something you want to know, you want to learn, you want to like to to as an as a job or whatever. And yeah, so something you enjoy doing exactly and learn it in French. I'm telling yeah, you, that's true. It works, it works. Mm -hmm. And the third one is um, sell. Know mm -hmm. how to sell mm. French because all those are part of communication. You tell stories. You you. You, you learn skills and you mm -hmm. sell. So storytelling, uh, skill learning, and sales. Because mm -hmm. sales is communication. Mm -hmm. You talk to people, but before selling to people, you have to be sold to. Yeah. So listen to people selling. Mm -hmm. you know, on, on, on bus, you know, on streets. 
I remember mm -hmm. you said people selling stuff. It's communication, even TV ad advertisement, TV ads. Yeah. Watch them. Be sold. You won't necessarily pay, but at least you. Yeah. <laughs> if you understand what you they are selling, something. selling you, then you you will eventually be selling something in the future. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you will be telling stories, you will be learning skills, and you will be selling. You, This is communication. And when you do that, because we do those things on a daily basis, we do those things every day. Yeah. And the language is spoken, written, telling stories, learning skills, selling stuff. Mm -hmm. And after that, you go beyond. So that's why I say the, the rêve raconter des histoires, mm -hmm. enseigner des compétences, mm -hmm. and V, I, enseigner des compétences, and V, uh, vendre des mm -hmm. solutions, sell solutions. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. And you will see. That's what I've been doing for years. Yeah. And after that, you will expand your comfort zone. I don't say go beyond your comfort. I don't like this expression. I say, uh, leave your comfort zone go beyond no you, you need to expand your comfort zone because your comfort zone is where you can operate if you have no way no option to be comfortable how can you be active <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> so for you to be comfortable and not be shy when you yeah. address people in french do that yes. and i can help you i can That's... be your your, your french uh, your francophone a speaking your friend speaking partner you can do that that's true yes i i i'll be very grateful you're welcome so so, yeah. so now um next step you say you are going to continue with your endeavor yeah continue yeah. learning french and uh, yes it's it's now french is part of me there's no stopping <laughs> i've come too fast to give up so now before we end this conversation can you please try your little French? Is it, okay. is it possible? So let's switch in French. Yes, it's possible. Okay. Let's try. Ok, Thelma. <laughs> Alors, oui? euh, tu vis en Côte d'Ivoire depuis 2021. Comment tu trouves oui? les Ivoiriens en général? Um, hmm. 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 Ok, il y a des choses que j'aime ici, il y a des choses aussi que je n'aime pas ici. Um, je pense que les Ivoiriennes, um, beaucoup de gens m'ont aidé beaucoup. Et aussi, um, il y a le négatif aussi. Um, les Ivoiriennes, ce n'est pas tout le monde, mais on filme beaucoup ici. Je n'aime pas. Mon pays, ce n'est pas comme ça. On ne filme pas beaucoup. On ne filme pas dans le public non c'est pas comme ça dans mon pays je suis désolée c'est um, ce que j'ai remarqué ici oui oui on te comprend parfaitement et aussi mais, mais j'aime la route ici c'est très la route la route okay. la... oui oui c'est joli c'est mm. euh, um, il y a quand j'ai fait la comparaison à mon pays, oui. um, je pense qu'Abidjan aussi c'est une, une belle ville. C'est propre pour moi. C'est propre pour moi. J'ai entendu que beaucoup de gens disent que um, 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 Ghana, est, Ghana est plus propre. Même, je pense qu'Abidjan aussi c'est propre. J'aime beaucoup de fleurs. Et j'ai um, um, remarqué qu'il y a beaucoup de fleurs um, ici aussi. Um, la nourriture, c'est la même chose. Il y a foufou au Ghana, il y a, um, um, il y a, il y a quelque chose comme placali. On dit ça, mm -hmm. ce n'est pas placali, placali. Mm -hmm. C'est maïs avec manioc. On mélange maïs avec manioc. Mm -hmm. Il y a sauce grain ici au Ghana. Mais la le culture, le c'est un peu similaire. Ce n'est pas trop um, différent comme ça. Um, les gens, um, ils sont agréables. 
Isso mata me. Agria me. I hope I didn't do bad. Oh my god. Wow. It was I mean, my accent. Who cares? You I can't, know, you right? Can't, I mean, you can't. I mean, I know people care. Reason why they they make fun of you, but your accent, you can't change it. That's your identity. That's part of you. All you need to work on is enunciation. Okay. And and uh, 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 and to work on grammar. I mean, to be more accurate in the way you speak. Yeah. It's yeah. all about reading. You read a lot and listen a lot to good, good spoken French. If you listen a lot to good spoken French and you read a lot of French books, literature, <laughs> newspapers, and so on, it will improve. Yeah. That's it. But I But mean, I can say the continuous process as much yes, as um, you've reached the point that many people are having. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I guess many francophone living, uh, sorry, many anglophone living in Abidjan who are watching you now are like, wow, wow <laughs> she's doing great. I wish I could speak okay. like her. You know, they're having you. So you, you have an asset. All you need is to develop it. So yeah. forget about all those naysayers. You know. yeah. Be focused and keep on improving and you'll make it i really I love will. the way you speak i mean you you, you speak french <laughs> you know, there are many i know stages. There are many stages you are in let's say in stage i, I would say stage number two okay, okay, sure. you, there is another i mean fluency is a, is a long journey it's a long yeah, journey yeah yeah like we don't even know where the destination is but i think the destination is when you understand and you can be understood that's it. yeah And now yeah. it's all about it's, it's about how you shape it, be more accurate, mm -hmm. grammatically speaking. You know, yeah. you do that. I mean, over time, you 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 bury yourself. But I mean, I understand you. I very understand you. But if they make so, if you don't want people to continue making fun of you, or if you really want to overcome that, mm -hmm. do, the, the, do what I mentioned, the the rev. Tell stories, teach skills, and sell something. You I will forget about being <laughs> ashamed of speaking French. I'm telling you. I will. So I your, will. your last word before we close this conversation. Um. So my last word to... I think my last word will be directly to Anglophone people. Just keep pushing. I know... Um, no, it's not I know. I, I think French is a little more complicated than English. But of course, if you want it, you have to put in the work. And um, I'm sure when you put in the work and you are ripping back your fruits or your benefits, you wouldn't to be remember your struggles. So keep going. Peace. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are my last words to my... Thank you oh. so much. So Thank you, thank you for talking with me. And uh, hopefully, next time, we'll talk more in French. All right, then. Bye. Bye.